Howdy guys, I thought I'd do a review on my latest purchase, the Holy Grail, as some people would call them, the original 1980s Carol Co. United Cutlery Rambo Knives. And I also want to thank a gentleman by the name of Rick in the United States. Rick had these advertised on eBay and I kept on pestering, to, pestering him to post them to Australia and he wouldn't do it. The listing went for seven days, it ended, I thought someone bought them and then to my surprise a couple of weeks later the listing went back up again, I messaged Rick again, I pestered him, I badgered him and finally he decided to post them out to Australia. Uh, I think he was a little bit worried that they might get caught at customs or they get lost in the mail because there is a little bit of money in these. So Rick, I thank you very much. They've come to a good home and I'm going to do a quick review on just how amazing condition you have kept these knives since the 1980s. It, it, I just, I'm blown away. So we'll look at the first blood knife. And if you're looking at buying original, authentic pieces from the 1980s, this is what you need to look for. This is the design, the packaging. You will not find this packaging on the knockoffs on eBay. And the most important thing is that's what you want to see. If you see that, you know you've got the real deal. Because it's illegal to actually copyright this box so you'll see plenty of knockoffs on there that look similar to these boxes but they are different nothing on the back we'll open this first one and this is how they would look back in the 1980s Rick has done an amazing job to keep them as original as possible have a look at that that's brilliant now I've opened these and I've actually put the little certificate of authenticity in a little um, snap lock bag just in case the silverfish decide to eat at it at some point in time so that'll stay safe and I just love that they have their original blade cardboard on the knives still as they would from the 1980s there's the original sheath from the 1980s. Never used. Just in mint condition. We'll take this knife out. Because this is the only time they're going to see the light of day. So you might as well do a review and I'm, I'm pretty sure Rick would be pretty happy knowing that they arrived safe. So that's what the 1980s Carol Co knife looks like. Carol, Carol Co knife looks like the first blood knife. And I was a little bit worried because Rick in his eBay pictures did not have the cap at the back off. So I wasn't sure if I was going to receive the survival kit or not. So we'll take that off. There's your 1980s compass that works. And let me tell you, put a smile on my dial when the original survival kit with the original matches blade striking paper plastic tubing from the 1980s was in there just superb fantastic quality i can now understand why people see these mm -hmm. united cutlery knives better quality than the master cutlery knives 
Okay, so that's the first blood knife. Next, we've got the Rambo 2 knife. And once again, if you see that helicopter picture on the box, you know you've got an authentic item. United, First Blood Part 2. Gives you the dimension of the blades. Once again, the most important bit. Carol Co. United. We have the edge you need. Rambo. And there's nothing on the back of it. So I'll we'll take that off. And once again, got the certificate of authenticity. I've put in a little snap lock bag. Once again, you got the blade cardboard, which is from the 1980s. I've seen some of these sell on eBay, predominantly the Rambo 3 knife, but I have not seen them with the original cardboard. So I said to myself, if I can't buy three knives from the one seller, I'm not going to buy them individually because you just don't know what you're going to get. So knowing that they came from one person made it very much an easy sale. There's the original sheath from the 1980s. Never used, original leg tie. knife from the it's hard to film oh, look at that brilliant Once again, I was a little bit worried because Rick in his pictures did not have these survival. Oops. Why did I push there? Okay. Did not have these. The compass. Again, working from the 1980s and. Oh, there it is. A bit worried there. <laughs> so, the original matches. Once again, a blade, I think. And a bit of striking paper. Beautiful. I'll put that in there. I don't think the pommel came with any wrist strap. I don't think so. I haven't seen it on any other ones, but and may have, but I doubt it. Rick's kept, kept these in mint condition, so if there was a wrist strap, it would have been there. And to the final one, original United Cutlery artwork, no doubt, because the knives that Master Cutlery are uh, making these days of this knife, they are not using this picture, yet if you have a look at the Hibben 3 knife, that uh, United Cutlery is also distributing. Um, they are using this, so it must be trademarked to their company. So it gives you the features of the knife there. Once again, the Carol Co. United Cutlery emblem on the side. Hibben Knife logo there with Hibben, uh, Gil Hibben signature. And it gives you the number UC201. That's something we didn't see on the other one. Oh, yeah, they all have them. I mustn't have turned it around. So this one is the UCRB2. And this one here 
is the UCRB1. So we'll open up this one. And once again, the original certificate of authenticity that you need to have with these knives. Beautiful Rambo sheath from the 1980s. It's been duplicated many times since, but this is the original. So I'll put that in there. It's also got its leg tie. So this one seems to have a little bit of paracord on the handle. Still in its original cardboard wrapper. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'll give you a, a few facts on this knife that not a lot of people know about. These slots up the top here, there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you've got a big one here. What they are, and I always refer to this knife as the Baker Team Tribute Knife. These notches are a tribute to Rambo's um, Special Forces team in Vietnam that didn't survive the war, that didn't make it back over to the States. So, uh, great thought went into the, making this knife. I, I gather it was Sylvester Stallone and Gil Hibben must have come up with this. They said, how about we make some notches to honour the men that actually didn't make it home. So if we go through them, if I, if I can remember the names, it would be Bronson, Coletta, Danforth, Jorgensen, Krakow, Mesner, Ortega, and Westmore. They were the eight guys that didn't make it back from Vietnam. That was the Special Forces team, the Baker team, as Colonel Troutman referred them to. Now this big notch, you might be asking, what's that big notch, for, big notch for? That big notch is for Delmar Barry. Now if you remember at the start of First Blood, Rambo walks down the uh, track down to the Delmar Barry house and he speaks to the Delmar Barry widow and she tells him that he passed away from cancer. So he made it home, the poor guy, yet all that Agent Orange stuff that they were spreading around in Vietnam that's what actually killed the guy back in the States. So Delmar Barry made it. John Rambo made it. So they were the two guys that actually made it. But these eight other guys never made it home. So if you never knew what those notches were for, you do now. So if someone asks you what they are, you say that's a tribute to the Baker team. Special Forces guy that never made it home. And this slot down here. Originally, it was uh, made for a retract retractable blade that you would put in there and what would happen, it would come out on this side, it would come out on this side like a big butterfly and it would have a massive blade here and a massive blade here. How they would have incorporated that in Rambo 3, I, have not know I do not know. So I think that's why they scrapped it. But there are two prototypes. Apparently, Gil Hibben owns one from the Rambo 3 movie. And Sylvester Stallone owns the other. So you can Google that. If you Google um, the Rambo 3 prototype knife, you can actually see what it, re would it, would it, would it, what it would have looked like back um, when the movie was released in 1980, if they had gone with it. So what a beautiful looking knife. But my favourite is the, that first blood knife. It all started with the first blood. For me, as a 10-year-old kid, with that beautiful green cord on the handle, it all started with that knife, and it just went on from there. So once again, Rick, I'm going to actually send you this link. They arrived safely, my friend. Thank you so much for keeping pretty important pieces of history in such mint condition. They've come to a good home here. They will be going into the vault 
and who knows maybe 20 years down the track when our hero Sylvester Stallone passes away and he's no longer with us they might come out and I might put them on eBay and ask for a sale myself so thanks for watching guys and as Bosnian Bill says stay safe stay legal I forgot to mention also, uh, if you have a look in the description box just underneath, I'm going to list uh, some of my favourite YouTube videos of all things Rambo. Uh, I'll start from one and head all the way down from my favourite going down. So please check them out. Also on this channel, uh, my channel this video is uploaded on, check out all the videos of the adventures that me and a few mates have gone on in the past oh, eight years. We've uh, scoured through abandoned train tunnels, mines caves, waterfalls, uh, mental hospitals, power stations. There's uh, a video on there for, for everyone really. So if you're here in Australia and you're looking to explore a few places, if you've got a couple of mates and you're not sure what to do over the weekend yet you want to find some old places to walk through and really have a look at some old history, then have a look through this channel. There is loads of uh, stuff you can get an idea on, on where to go. If you're interested in sussing anything out just post a message uh, in the comments section and I can help you out getting there or telling you how to get in what's the safest way and whatnot so if it interests you let me know thanks guys see you later